I'm going to do you for, buddy. All right, mate, let's try to get this tattoo removed. You have no problems whatsoever. Come on through. Right now, maybe just take a seat. And could you roll up your sleeve for me? Yep. Now this may hurt a little bit. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. Is there a problem? You're doing pretty well for yourself, aren't you? <laughs> what? It's a pretty tidy sum you're depositing here. I really don't think that's any of your business. Yeah, you're making a fair bit for someone who looks like you do. What? <laughs> I mean, you can afford better clothes than that. <laughs> Listen, I... And you can do with a good haircut. A bit tight with the old cash, are we? I really don't think it's your... I bet when you go with that, you cry poor and get them to pay half. You could afford Calvin Klein, but you'd wear no name brand undies. You can shower once a week. I mean, look at me. I work here nine to five and earn a fraction of what you earn, but I still wear expensive aftershave, not that cheap toilet water you've got on. <laughs> and I bet you my car's better than yours. Hey, what are you doing? Aren't you here to fix a computer? Yeah, I was just having a bit of fun. <laughs> What do you mean, tilt? I hardly touched the thing. Hey, mate, I hardly touched this machine and the tilt light came on. Yeah, well, the machine decides. I can't do anything about it. Well, you can give me my money back. No, I can't. Yes, you can. Give me your money back. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I've had these problems since childhood. I first started getting these feelings when, when Dad walked out on us. Then my mother started to drink and she stopped paying attention to me. I don't know what to do. Hmm. That's all very interesting. But are you going to buy this couch or not? <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, in this day and age, it is still nice to see that a man would perform a chivalrous act for a lady. So does that mean we're going to have sex? <laughs> Firstly, you're seen at a casino in a drunken state on a night before a match. Then, after having been thrown out of the establishment, you chose not to go home but to visit a strip joint. After getting ejected for the second time in one night, you had an altercation with four members of the public which drew police attention and your subsequent arrest. And instead of going home, after being released from police detention, you decided to sleep outside the club room in full view of the arriving members and spectators. After having discussions with other members of the committee, we've decided there's only one thing we can do. We're going to make you captain! Wednesday, the countdown begins. Only six castaways left. Who will be the ultimate survivor? Watch to win $10,000 for a survivor kit. Wednesday.
only, Kmart has 15% off store-wide. Exclude cigarettes, gift vouchers and car and auto services. With no deposit mobile. We think 15% off our already low prices is just what you need. My job at CIE is just to uh, electrical work, maintain generators, lights. What I've done in the Navy is quite broad, but definitely one of the more uh, worthwhile things that I've done was Timor. When we first turned up to the hospital, it was just a wreck. We got in there and we put a roof on it, wired it so that it had power and, and lighting and that sort of thing. I wouldn't say there'd be too many electricians that would go up and do the sort of things that, that we've done up there. Tomcats promo, take four. The makers of the outrageous new comedy Tomcats have asked me to show you a sneak preview of a couple of things you'll see in the movie. Well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, cut! Scenes. A couple of scenes from the movie. Brace yourself for the most outrageous comedy of the year. We just ran over your girlfriend. Do not say that word. Tomcats. Now can I show my things? At cinemas April 19. <laughs> This neck goes perfect for steak out. <laughs> Cut it out, you moron! This is different. Why the fruit here? Oh, well, it's unique. It's the state-of-the-art peripheral vision concept. Uh, basically, you can look at the speedo and still focus on what's in front of you. Ah! Clever. Ah. <laughs> Now. I look at it and I think, that can't be me. I've had the weight off for four years and I'm very proud of it, I must admit. Lose 10 kilos for just $10. Call Jenny Craig now on 131992. You join the Navy and um, you, you go to school for 12 months like your mates and um, in your second year you're earning about 42 grand if you're going to sea. And then, you know, it's, you know, all up it's a pretty good package. Previously on Holster and Jimmy. Yeah, it's some sort of schedule, so what? Yeah, it's a bank money pickup schedule. Sammy the fish is in cohorts with some woman at the bank. Something big's going down, Holster, I'm sure of it. Jimmy, you're suspended from duty. Keep out of it. Okay, all right, Sammy, what are you up to? Hey, hey, ha, ha, ha. All right. Oh, jeez. Don't you know you shouldn't sneak up on a man using binoculars? I need to talk to you before it's too late. My life is in danger. You're the only one who can help me. <laughs> You're my last chance. Oh, are you coming on to me? No. It's Sammy the Fish. He's trying to blackmail me into helping him rob the bank. Yeah? Why me? When I followed up your loan application, yeah. I found out you were a cop. I know everything about you. Everything? Mm. Well, did you know that I once, um, see us? I've got three and see what that. <laughs> With three girls? <laughs> oh, I could have been four if I had another hand. <laughs> OK, there's no time to waste. Sammy the fish will be waiting for the guards first thing in the morning. Oh, right. Well, that explains the security guard schedule I found in your office that day. That's right. He forced me to give him the schedule, or he'd release this videotape of me that would threaten my career. When I made the video, I was young and naive and severely influenced by drugs. Oh, don't tell me you were in Bardo. No, something even more degrading. Well, you better get me a copy then. Oh, for evidence, of course. Well, let's get going. I've got a score to settle with him myself. Don't you think we should call for backup? Nah, I'm suspended from duty. It's just you and me, babe. Just like Pamela and Tommy Lee. What? <laughs> uh, maybe more like Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. Now get in. Yeah, and you better hold on. We might be in for a bumpy ride. Ha! Oh, sorry about the dog hair. Oh, Jimmy. I knew you couldn't keep your nose out of it. This whole area is alarmed. As soon as you walk through one of those doorways, you'll trigger it. Yeah, no worries. You leave it to me. <laughs> I managed to turn the alarm off. Good. Now get me out of this contraption. It's the first time I've used it outside the bedroom. <laughs> it's nearly opening time. We'd better hide. Yeah, hurry up, will ya? 
That movie was so predictable. Oh, I could tell in the first minute that the grandfather was the murderer. Hey, thanks for spoiling the movie, you bozos. Yeah, nice one, Big Mouth. I'll see those three matches and raise you another four. I'll see your four matches and I'll raise you another four matches. Okay, there's my eight matches and I'll raise you another five. Okay, I'll see those five matchsticks and raise you a lighter. <laughs> I'll see you a lighter and I'll raise you a blowtorch. Alright, I'll see your lighter, I'll see your blowtorch, and I'll raise you this flamethrower. <laughs> right, I'm still in. Here's my blowtorch, and here's my flamethrower. Okay, I'll look. There's my flamethrower. What do you got? Okay, boys, read them and weep. <laughs> okay. So, would you like to go on another date? Actually, I think we should just leave it at this one date. Was it the restaurant? Didn't you like the restaurant? No, the restaurant was fine. Didn't you like the dancing? No, there was nothing wrong with your dancing. It's me, isn't it? No, I think you're a really nice guy. Oh, I don't understand. I mean, it looked like you were having a good time. I mean, I know my mates did. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, honey. I don't know about these guys you called to replace the glass in our window. Look, they're the cheapest quote by miles. They'll be fine. Oh, puss. Naughty cat. Well, I'm going to have to rub your nose in it now. Oh. It's the only way you're going to learn. <laughs> How would you like it, hey? <laughs> hey? How would you like it? Hey? Hey? How would you like it? <laughs> This weather update is brought to you by Morning Fresh, Australia's number one dishwashing liquid. Good evening. The fine weather continues and tomorrow as this northerly freshens, temperatures will increase but there will be a cold change tomorrow night. Fine tonight with a low of 13. Fine for most of tomorrow with cloud increasing. A few showers in the evening, 26 before the change. Have a good day. How simple are these? Isn't making a cuppa easier with these? And aren't these a clever idea? Now these little things will change the way you do your laundry. Radiant XL Soluble Sachets. They start dissolving instantly to release Radiant's 100% active cleaning power throughout your entire wash. No mess, no fuss. Just a brilliant Radiant clean. New Radiant XL Soluble Sachets. Little things make life easier. Announcing Clive Peters' five-day kitchen appliance sellout with incredible savings off Victoria's biggest range of Australian and European appliances. We're slashing prices for five days only on ovens, cooktops, range hoods, sinks and taps, dishwashers, fridges and microwaves. Save even more when you buy complete kitchen packages. We're slashing prices and we guarantee to beat any price. Some conditions apply. Clive Peters' incredible five-day kitchen appliance sellout. Prices slash for five days only. Hurry ends 5 p.m. Sunday. Say Brie. 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 The Rugrats are going to Paris. Brie. Brie. They're speaking French already. They're seeing new faces. Come on, I'll show you the shortcut. Visiting new places. Yeah. And getting the biggest surprise. I'm going to get the Barbies. Yeah, that'll be the day. Of their tiny little lives. Rugrats in Paris, the movie. Hey, you dumb baby, wait for me. Somebody needs a nap. No showing at cinemas everywhere. Nice rackets! 900 bucks, fella! <laughs> Shop smart at Sportsmart's Easter holiday half price sale. Top brand footy boots and cross trainers up to half price. Deodora track suits and Russell Sportswear half price. Save hundreds on American treadmills and home gyms. Plus football, hockey, soccer and basketball all up to half price. 
Shop Smart at Sportsmart's Easter holiday half price sale, Northcliffe, Noble Park and Moravan, Melbourne's largest sports warehouse. <laughs> Where's the water? Claire's crazy for cash. I won! Can she clean up at Julie's new pub? Karaoke! She is ready to sing. Flat chat next on Nine. Our counterfeit expert Peter will tell you if that fifty dollar nose is fake or not. What do you reckon, Peter? That's genuine. But those boobs are fake. <laughs> Just doing my job. Oh, come on! You honestly expect me to believe you're not seeing somebody else? Yes! Oh. Well, what's that call on your lipstick then? <laughs> Here we go. There's Mum, still crying. <laughs> oh, and here's us leaving the wedding reception. Well, it was a great wedding. Yeah, it was excellent. I didn't realise you took so many photos. Oh, yeah, six albums worth. Yeah, that's nothing. You should see how many slides we took. <laughs> Sit back, everybody, and let's relive some of the magic. Actually, mate, we should make a move. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey! What about the slides? Oh, and the video! Yeah, it's only four hours long. Uh, no, we really should be going. Well, listen, I'll email you some more photos at work tomorrow, OK? I took them on the digital camera. They're so easy to download. Yeah, um, that'd be great. OK, well, I hope to see you both real soon, OK? Why don't you come over tomorrow and we can show you the photos of the honeymoon? Uh, Marie, no offence, but don't you think you should finish your honeymoon first? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yes, sir. Hi. Um, I'd like, uh, oh, what are they called? Uh, thingamy. A thingamy? Yeah, with the doozit attached. <laughs> with a doozit attached. Oh, more like a what's in my face. Yeah, but with the jigger thingy. <laughs> yes, the one that goes like... That's the one. Yeah, I also want the attachment that goes... Oh, get the one. Okay. I want to the thing go with a gizmo that goes... Or the two-for-one offer today, which includes a... Which includes a... You? Tell you what, I'll take the chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, and some um, coarse grain. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's your watches, and there's your things. Will you be paying by or kaching, kaching, kaching? Neither. Bang, bang. <laughs> Right, we've got three minutes to get in and out of that bank. We're just waiting on Barry. You should be here any sec. Have we got everything? Bag? Check. Guns? Check. Masks? Check. Alright. Barry, I just said clown masks. They've changed their mind, Barry. We'll need a whole new proposal by tomorrow. Oh, shit! 
Ah, 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 ah. What? You swore a dollar in the swearing jar. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. We all agreed. Each time you swear in the office, you put a dollar in the jar. <sighs> there's your dollar. Hang on. And there's another two dollars. What's that for? So I can tell you to f off, you <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> Hey, do you know how they say the Boy Scouts' motto is be prepared? So I thought I'd test it out. I went up to one of them and poked him right in the eye. <laughs> he wasn't prepared for that, I can tell you. <laughs> Either was the old lady, he was helping across the road. Now, I actually tried to join the Boy Scouts once, but I didn't pass the physical. They... <laughs>